anything else I from like Devin3000 himself. Is he in winners? This is just yes. our pools. Yo winners pools, oh, yeah. Oh, still pools. winners. We do oh. pools now. God, oh, our the quarters? Times have I didn't changed. even realize. We're, we're right Yo, let's go, Devin! This. That doesn't go. mean he's not in winners. Just That's true. Saying. So we got Devin playing against an outdated character, uh, Lucina's uh. worst version, Marth. Marth is... Marth's good. It's just why play him when Lucina's right there. Oh no, dog. No. Marth's pretty scary it. after all the points he got. Anyway, I, I, I'm gonna I, I shut understand. up so you guys can commentate. Actually Thank you, a nummies. Statement. Bye, nummies. All right, make a statement. making a statement by playing Marth instead of Lucina. You know what? I I I, I respect that because I love Marth. I, I I talk all this smack about Marth, but honestly, he's got the ability to get back up. You know, he's got he's got the tipper. You got the tipper Rooney comes in there. Lands any of those and send him flying, but he, st he still works the same as Lucina. I mean, yeah, they're they're very similar characters. Like, he, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, just play Lucina. That's what I said. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> I thought you were gonna rebuttal me. No, 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 it's a Lucina. Okay, I feel it. But right now, both players. I mean, like, but but Marth right here holding his own out. X holding his own out against Devin against like you know PT. But neither of these characters are dying, and Ooh, as I, I say lie. that, catches the I ledge jump. I told you, that's the curse. You say something, and the opposite happens. The Vine Web, it's been a curse since 2001. Here we go, down throw into Nair. It's going to be a good starter. Not too much damage, couldn't get the ledge cancel on the uh, the tech. But here we go, 142. No Trump? He tried to grab it afterwards. Yeah, he really did. Didn't work out. Just spam that Dolphin Slash. Honestly, move, it's, it's really good to just like get off me tool. It really, yeah, I, and it worked because guess what happened? He got he off. He got off him. But it's a risk. It's like, you know, if you, if you hit their shield, like, you are wide open. There's nothing Mark can do afterwards in that free fall state. Mm -hmm. Razor Leaf. He's going to be throwing out Razor Leaf a lot. It's a great combo starter for Ivysaur. Going to be able to combo that into some uh, futuristic things. But fantastic spacing coming out from X with that dancing blade. Really trying to keep his distance away from, um, from Ivysaur's... The vines and the vines, the vines. And the, the seeds. Ivysaur is really great at keeping a really good distance away from his opponent, and godlike at ledge guarding, which I think Devin's slowly trying to do by keeping, by trying like push X towards the ledge. But X is just like you're funny. Watch this. Yeah, I'll keep you in the air actually. <laughs> I mean, it's scary. Like you said, like even though Martha is not as good as Lucina, like you were saying earlier, he has that scare factor of being able to just tipper F smash you at a like two percent on the ledge, and you can explode. Speaking of tipper, gonna be able to get that fourth swing of Dancing Blade. Try to go off there, gonna stall off stage a little bit with that down B to switch over to the Pokemon. Still gonna toss him off. Charizard is the heavier Pokemon, so he's gonna be able to live a little bit longer on there. Plus, has the additional jump to get back to the stage mm -hmm. to safety. But now we're back on. Goes off right back to Ivy Sword. This is pretty much every Pokemon trainer's man. Yep. I mean, he, he's great. He's a great middle ground between Squirtle and Charizard. He's a little bit heavier than Squirtle, not as squishy, not too like uh, too combo heavy like Charizard is. So it's just kind of a good balance that someone would really want to use Ivy Sword over either Squirtle or Charizard. Charizard, of course, being better if you're trying to survive. But Devin is uh, simply built different and will use Ivysaur instead to survive. I like that great awareness from X, by the way. Knowing the, the knowing the Vine Whip trick, you know, but unfortunately, uh, a poorly spaced aerial is going to spell disaster for him. That back throw is going to finish the job. But X is so close to being able to, you know, finish. He's going for it again. We talked about this earlier. Dancing Blade, a good get off me tool. But Devin's catching wise to it. He's not getting caught by it anymore. Gonna get caught by that back here. Sweet spot though, coming down as he lands back down onto the stage. One stock a piece here. We're starting to get into the nitty and gritty. Mm -hmm. And again, that just like you said, Devin really just starting to realize that, hey, uh, you're keep using this move, so I'm just gonna adapt. And that's something that's amazing. That is great to learn how to adapt in the middle of a situation and knowing what to do to avoid being caught by an attack like Mars Uppy. Bro, he's just trying to get off of him. They're going for the retreating forward air. Mm -hmm. Good tech read from Devin. We'll be able to catch that roll to the left. But oh no, Ooh. he's in a bad spot. Vine whips get to get out of dodge. Lands a down air. Voids the tech situation by going for the air dodge a little bit sooner. Probably just an accident, but still works in his favor. Gets the dancing blade, pushes him off stage. A potential edge guard opportunity. He's going to switch over to Charizard. Loses his jump. Flare blitzes right through it. Super armor coming in. And he is still off stage. High recovery. Oh. Get away from that ledge. Doesn't matter. Still catches him. Gets all the way up there. Lands the back air. Takes the stock. Takes the game. And X is putting a point on the board and sending a message home. Wow. That was intense. I, I just... I, I, I off felt stage, Devin, yeah. When Devin was off stage, like right here. Not right here, but like there's so many different like replays that were happening. Just a lot of it 
Devon off stage, when you're as Pokemon trainer, you want to swap over to Charizard. You want to get that double jump. You want to be able to have the ability to flare blitz from either the high or low as your mix-up game, as well as stall off stage by switching Pokemon. But even through all that, X was still able to catch it. It was just... Once you knew that Devin didn't have a, eat all, any of his jumps and all the only option he had was Flare Blitz, it's easy to know how long like how long Flare Blitz is and how like the range of it. Right. And using that X is just able to catch him, catch up to him and really finish him off with uh with Mars. I believe it was his, for, his uh forward smash. Or uh, was the it the finisher was a back air. Back air? Yeah. Get that sweet spot back here. A sweet spot back here. That's yeah. that's a Ooh. I mean, the best thing about that sweet spot is that like you hear that sound effect mm -hmm. when it comes out. You know you're about to take a lot of damage. But speaking of taking a lot of damage, you want to be able to catch those you know bad whiffs on the Dolphin Slash, which Devin's purely doing out of instinct at this point. People have been doing it for so long. He's out of double jumps. He's done. Fantastic edge guard coming out from Devin. All right. Already a stock lead from Devin. And he's now, now all he has to do is really just keep a distance away from X because X is, do, is doing great. Well, he shines the best when he's in close contact, as do all Mars, because of the, their sorties. You know, all right. sorties do great when they're in close contact. Disjointed hitboxes. Mm -hmm. I love that for them. Love it. Freaking swords, bro. I say as a sortie. But I, <laughs> I only eat. Sorties suck. I say as a sortie. It's okay. Sorties though. rock, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. I suck. I, just, I hate sorties. <laughs> Now let's all go, go to a get together. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Ivy Star's a swordy too. See those vines? That backer? That backer is definitely a sword. You can't tell me otherwise. Good Dolphin Slash. Just cancel it. Merely just run in there. Ivy Sword is swordy is, an, is, is truly. Ooh! He's, okay, he's but he's still, Okay, yeah. He didn't, if he committed the Dolphin Slash super early, he would have. that would have been bye bye. Yeah, if he. if honestly. Squirrel's water gun is so like just devious. If he's able to time it after you use your one jump, like you're done. You're done. You're done. Okay, what's the option here? X is trying to get back on the stage. Devin just spacing him out. Going off super deep gives up stage control Ooh. in the process, but it's okay because he, he managed to get back. Now a lot of these approaches that X has been doing whenever uh wow. A lot of these approaches <laughs> that X has been doing against Devin, especially at low percentage, he likes to go down land with down air. Because Marth gets so much mileage off of a down air, especially if he sweet spots it, because it like puts him into this large amount of hit stun that allows him to be able to follow up and just be able to just become combo city. But because he's using it so much, Devin's starting to become a little wise to it. Again, adapting to the situation, because once you know your opponent's like weak weak points or what they constantly throw out, you can easily yeah. go around it and just do things that just mix it up a little bit. And also, just because it's the best option, it's not the option you need to use all the time. Eventually, mm -hmm. it'll stale, just like in the game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh no! no. Well, he's he's starting that again, and Devin's gonna catch it every single time. Yeah, I feel like Devin could have gotten a bigger punish off of that, but maybe it was just like a miss input with the accidental dash attack, or maybe he just wanted to make sure that he got some form of punish. But regardless, this stock's gone. X sitting here with 111%. This could be potentially scary for Devin, but as oh, I uh, say nope. that, gets anti-aired. Again, we say something, and the opposite always happens. They did it, Squirtle. They did it, Squirtle. We you know, got Squirtle it. literally was there for maybe like 20 seconds. Yeah, I mean, you know, Squirtle puts in his work, dude. He puts in his dues, man. He, he's he's got to sign a lot of contracts in there. You know, when he's in the Pokeball, he's busy signing autographs because it's, oh he's my like, god, Squirtle. You know, You're from the Pokemon anime, right? You know how Chris Jenner is like the manager for the Kardashians? That's what Squirtle is in like this trio. He stays in the Pokeball and he does all like, the PR Wearing stuff. Wearing the sunglasses and stuff. Yes. And to, but like, you know, he's doing it to hide that he's like actually bloodshot eyes because oh, he's been no. working too hard. And he has like or, a okay. maybe, he coffee. Part, maybe he partied a little bit too hard the night before too, so he's, that's why he's like wearing those those communa glasses just to kind of hide his regret. Squirtle's like seven years old and he's a child. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't he's, even evolved yet, bro. He's not. He's, he's out here doing all the pair with these grown people, like these grown Pokemon. Ivysaur is a mean teenager and Charizard's a grown man. Yeah. Definitely, got that all the work. definitely got that teenage vibes going on. Mm -hmm. And look at that acne. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> So just all over the body, dude. I feel for them. You gotta get some of that cleaner, bro. But oh my god, Rat the Gate, 73% on X. Can't even land. This is uh, X's counter pick. Fantastic stage for Marth. Yo, anyone with a sword loves triplats, right? Mm -hmm. Just having the ability to be able to just like chase them on the tech. You don't? I hate platforms. <laughs> what do you mean? Who you play? Hero. That's I not, know. That's not a sortie. <gasps> Hero's not a sortie. 
Not like this. Her Heroes are random number generator. Come no, on. No, leave my baby alone. <laughs> Not like this. But back to the match. Besides, like me getting bullied over a hero. <laughs> X in a really, really dangerous spot right now. Honestly, he needs to get out of that of out of the air. Which, even though these tri platforms are great for sorties and especially Marth, it's going to prove his downfall because he is constantly being juggled by um by Devin. Yeah, I got him at took the stock, sitting here with 72%, looking for this opening. X is definitely looking for that down air. You see it. He's at that prime percent where if he lands a spike down, that could potentially lead into something big like an up smash. Bullet seed on right on top of you? Why not? I mean, it worked out in a very yeah. good way. It's a great anti here, especially if they want to camp on that platform right above. Good catch that there. He uses double jump. <gasps> He's in a bad spot. Oh, but he came back. Okay, but he, re he regained his resource, oh, tried to challenge it, and it, it yep. worked. What a trade for Devin. It was worth it in the end, because now Devin's at three, like literally a two-stock lead. Even though he's at high percentage, he still has such a good advantage at the moment that he doesn't even have to approach anymore. He can literally just be like, oh, so you're approaching me, and punish most of what X is about to do. Bro, you're approaching me, bro? Oh, so you're approaching yeah, me. I mean, he is. Look at him, 157%. Uh, I mean, X has to put in the work now. He really has to really, like, go into Mars' uh, fundamentals. There we go. That's perfect. X gonna give it to you. Mm -hmm. The F tilt out of here. Going swapping over to the Charizard. I mean, he has to because of the problem to swap. Yeah, Squirtle's a fantastic pick for uh, very, very, very low percents because you're able to get like big combo damage or fast you can weave in and out. But the second takes a little bit of damage. He's probably going to find an opening, switch, o switch over to Ivysaur. But just kind of playing patient right now. Yo, is that a sub coming out from my boy MGW? Ant, how you been, bro? What's good? Welcome. <laughs> We're here on Battlefield. We're watching X. Try to start to make this comeback. He was up two stocks, but now kind of playing out of his mind. Gets another sweet spot with that back air. Almost caught the air dodge, but good fade out from Devin. I agree. Like, look at this. Devin now has to actually worry a little bit. Not too much, but definitely more than before because he was at a good three stock lead and now he's at 134. Oh, perfect. Okay, great. It would come back from the stage. Easy peasy. Like vine, vine with me. Just coming in. That Vine Whip is such dangerous territory. You gotta be on the lookout for it. Here we go. 155. Razor Leaf's gonna stop him in his tracks, but unfortunately, Devin did not get that confirmed. Didn't recognize that it was actually gonna come out. Maybe buffered a different option afterwards, but still trying to hang in there. Wants to hold onto the stock for as long as possible because he does not want to get this tight. You don't want to be giving momentum to your opponent, especially when this is the last oh. game. Especially when this is the last game. Last and now game, all of a yeah. sudden, X on the potential reverse three stock. Can he pull this off? I don't know, because now that Devin, now that Devin is switching to Charizard at such an early percentage, he's not playing around. He is trying to get X out of here by either, like, he's going to left guard him or try to do what he did earlier, where he took away his Mark's second like, Mark's, like, jump and Mark was gone to the streets. However, again, telling you, Mark, like, X has to be careful with staying in the air with uh, with Devin. But that might be it, because that top platform will be right enough space for, to get to the blast zone. And that will be enough. That's the game. Great set from both players. Really close game. And, oh, my, my blood. My blood pressure? Kind of nasty. A little nasty there. A little nasty. Devin coming in with the 2 1 victory. Devin 3000 himself, owner of the stream, rigging the brackets in his favor. I mean, <gasps> justifyingly getting the win on a fair basis. But what was very interesting, especially near the end, is you can kind of see X was a little desperate. He was landing down with a lot of aerials on top of Charizard's shield. And Devin was just playing around that. Eventually, Devin was like, wait, you're just going to swing at me and not space it? I'm going to hold shield. I'm gonna catch you with an up smash. Oh, you're gonna do it again? I'm gonna shield and I'm gonna okay. grab you and I'm gonna kill you off the top of the ledge. Like, you can start to see, and that's no fault from X. I mean, a little fault, obviously, but like, it's a mental game, right? Like, you, you, you watch right here. He runs right on him. He's gonna jump right on him, swings right there. That was very unsafe. If he would have landed that forward air, he could have converted that into like maybe 20 damage, 30 potentially at mm -hmm. max, and then reset back to neutral, maybe get a little bit of a, uh, you know, a stage positioning. But at what cost? He at lost cost? the set. So it, that was definitely like a, you know, when you're right there in the moment and you're like losing and you don't want to, you're so close to making a comeback, you want to try to force something. And that's exactly what X did there at the very end. And Charizard, Devin, he just Charizard is no one to mess with because mm -hmm. once you bring that heavy 